The following video is for educational purposes only. Please use this information with discretion. Our intent is to help you become a more informed healthcare consumer. Ortho University presents Medial Epicondylitis, aka Golfer's Elbow, by Dr. David Eisenhower. And now it's time to ortho you. Hello, I'm Dr. David Eisenhower. I'm a board certified and dual fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon specializing in surgery of the shoulder, elbow, and hand. In this video, we will be discussing medial epicondylitis, commonly known as golfer's elbow. We will discuss the diagnosis and treatment. We will give you some simple home diagnostic tools as well as some simple home treatment remedies which may save you a trip to the doctor's office. So first of all, what is medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow? This is inflammation of the common flexor pronator tendon as it inserts on the medial aspect of the elbow. Not to be confused with lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow, which occurs on the outside of the elbow, medial epicondylitis occurs right here on the inside of the elbow. So with your arm down, and your thumb to the side, if you follow the pinky up, that's the medial aspect of the elbow. So if you find the most prominent area uh, of the uh, elbow, that is the medial epicondyle. Some uh, simple self-diagnostic tools here would be find that area with your thumb and roll your thumb just beyond the most prominent area and just slightly anterior towards the front and give a good deep palpation. Uh, that tends to elicit pain in patients with medial epicondylitis. Also, make a fist and bring the fist towards you and then resist that. That tends to cause pain at the tendon insertion with medial epicondylitis as well. Occasionally, patients with medial epicondylitis will have irritation of the ulnar nerve which runs behind the medial epicondyle. This is the funny bone nerve. Um, when this nerve is irritated, this is something called cubital tunnel syndrome. Uh, and the symptoms tend to present in the hand, actually. It tends to present with some numbness and tingling in the ulnar aspect of the hand or the pinky side of the hand. Occasionally, patients will have some pain along the nerve as well. Um, so if that tendon is really in, in, inflamed and irritated, it can inflame and irritate the nerve just below it uh, as well. This is usually something that comes about relatively slowly. It's oftentimes associated with uh, uh, an overuse or repetitive uh, motion, uh, such as a new workout routine or, or laborers or someone who's doing a repetitive motion. Very rarely is this associated with any type of a uh, uh, traumatic uh, event uh, or an acute trauma. Um, when patients come to see me in the office, uh, in addition to the, the palpation and testing uh, of the uh, wrist flexion resistance, uh, I'll also get x-rays and make sure that there's no bony abnormality, so we'll rule out uh, other uh, issues that may cause pain on the medial aspect of the elbow, such as uh, arthritis. <coughs> Occasionally, we will uh, arrange for an MRI of the elbow, particularly if there is a traumatic uh, event um, such as uh, uh, a trauma or uh, a pitcher or an overhead athlete uh, that started developing uh, medial sided pain. We'll look at the, uh, the, the medial collateral ligament of the elbow and make sure that, uh, that that is not torn or partially torn, causing pain in a very similar location. Um, and then if there's any evidence of uh, nerve compression causing numbness in the hand, oftentimes we'll arrange for an EMG or a nerve study which checks the flow of electricity from the neck down to the fingertips and that can help confirm a diagnosis of cubital tunnel syndrome and then help guide uh, treatment as well. Treatment for medial epicondylitis or golfer's elbow, um, things that you can do at home, most importantly is just avoid the repetitive motion. So if you can let the elbow rest, this is something that almost always runs its course and gets better without the need uh, for surgery. Uh, another very simple uh, home treatment would be avoid lifting uh, palm up. Lifting palm up puts stress on the medial side of the elbow. So try to lift palm down or palm to the side. Uh, that rests that tendon insertion and puts more of the stress on the outside of the elbow. We pause now with two minutes left in the video and ask that you open a separate browser screen and go to moonlightortho.com where you can quickly register for a free patient account and get immediate access to the final portion of this video. 
including home treatments and remedies, along with any additional treatments that may be prescribed or recommended in office or via telemedicine, including when it may be time to consider surgery. This also gives you full access to the entire OrthoU video library, highlighting all of the most common orthopedic conditions. Once registered on Moonlight Ortho, patients will have an all-inclusive orthopedic telehealth hub at their fingertips and can pay to be seen by a board-certified and fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeon. Moonlight Ortho is the first and only orthopedic-specific telemedicine practice where patients can be seen online by a board-certified orthopedic surgeon. Via telemedicine, patients can receive x-ray, MRI, lab, and physical therapy orders, along with prescription medications, all within 24 to 36 hours from your time of visit. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and appreciate the free advice that our surgeons have offered you, please rate and subscribe.